Heidi Ho, it's Liam Vu, and welcome to The Win, an inside look at everyday people leading extraordinary lives. Meet Daniel Mazzone. He's created vibrant and beautiful artwork for celebrities, millionaires, and art lovers around the world. And this is his story of how he went from being homeless to celebrating life on his canvas. I always said when I was homeless that it would be nice that people could see the story of your life and your skin. That way they wouldn't assume who you are. That's why I put all the information in these pieces is for people to uh, stop and analyze things, you know? Tell everyone about your art and, and, and what makes it distinctly a Daniel Mazzone piece of art. You know, my, my memories of doing stained glass with my mom when I was a kid, I think some of that influenced me as to how it should look with the big thick lines and, and how you put the pieces together. And then me collecting all the old newspapers and all these sorts of things. And then I just sort of build it like a sculpture. What was that moment when you realized, oh, I can turn this into a full-time thing. A friend of mine uh, who owned a restaurant, he sold one of my pieces, and I, I didn't even know he was gonna put it for sale. And he called me, and, and it, was, uh, it, it was an amount where I thought, okay, I can make a career out of this. I got off the phone, and I, and I called my boss and quit my job. How did that feel? It's scary. You know, it was a Sunday, and I thought, if I go to Monday, if I go to work Monday, and I'm gonna get comfortable with my paycheck again, maybe I'm not gonna really just give it my all. And I think that's, and that's definitely what you need to do. If you believe in something and you really love it, just give it 100%. You've done a lot of pieces now and uh, some celebrity names that I'm gonna throw out there. Uh, Jose Bautista. I, I, I like it just because he was so talented and it's nice to meet someone who really just followed their dreams and, and, and did something they love just like I did. This year, you met the Pope. So I, I, every year I donate to, to, to usually the same charities, but I try to do more and more every year. Scolas is, is a charity that's run with the Pope. And uh, so I donated for that charity and they, they invited myself and the person who bought the artwork for the charity to meet the Pope at the Vatican. So it was, uh, it was pretty cool. If you could tell your younger self something, anything, especially when you were 15 and when you were dealing with the unknown, what, what would you tell young Daniel? I think I might have listened to people too much when someone tries to discourage you. And I think a lot of that happened and uh, I didn't really uh, push myself, even though I really had dreams of being great. I wasn't sure what I was going to be great at, but I wanted to be great at something. And I'm, I think maybe I was just, I would have just said, like, move your butt. <laughs> well, you definitely are. <laughs>